hungry and looking for something so satisfying, something to truly tantalize your taste buds, then make it Charlie's, the home of the number one cheesesteak in the world. Also serving up a variety of delicious wings, freshly cooked to order under 10 minutes. With two locations to serve you, Mallet Marathon, open from 11 a.m. until 7 p.m., and the East West Highway, next to Solomon's, from 11 a.m. until 10 p.m. That's Charlie's, the home of the number one cheesesteak in the world. 393-3100. Will prices at the food store go down? The question on the lips of everyday Bahamian consumers. Well, our Antoine Smith spoke with the exec of a leading grocery chain, and the answer may not be the one consumers were hoping to hear. Oh, I wouldn't count on the prices going down right now. That's the harsh reality Super Value Chief Financial Officer Debbie Simonet shared with reporters. Her comments on the heels of a reignited conversation on supermarket price hikes exacerbated by global inflations. And even as consumers feel the pinch here at home, the surge, according to Simonet, is out of their control. The suppliers are hitting us with price hikes every day, so uh, in certain cases we have no choice but to pass it on to the consumer. We've tried our best to hold off on price hikes as best we could for as long as we could by buying ahead at the lower prices, but once these supplies have been depleted, we're going to have to pass on the higher prices. The trickle-down effect hitting many cash-strapped consumers where it hurts. If you go in the food store, things are now increased by 50% of what they want. $100 don't get you, but $100 used to get you. And that's December 31st. And so they're making it impossible for people to survive. It's hard for us here in New Providence. The family islands are even more because, you know, they have to even, their prices have to be even more than in Nassau because they have to, you know, import. So it's really hard. And with no word on just when food chain supplies will stabilize for the foreseeable future, enterprises and consumers alike will continue to bear the burden. So it's a double whammy and everybody is experiencing it. It's just not Nassau or super value. It is a worldwide thing. And I'm, I'm hoping people would come to realize this. There's le very little we can do. However, we are trying our best um, and giving you the best prices possible on certain items. Antoine Smith, ZNS Network News.